Our trucks are equipped with these limit switches. They read the motions of the lift pan to tell our computer where it's at and when it can start the next motion. As you can see here, there are two jam nuts on this thing. So to adjust them, you would just loosen one jam nut and uh, tighten the other one to where you need it. Um, just keep in mind that a little bit goes a long way when you're adjusting these things. Um, there are four different limit switches here. As you look towards the back of the conversion, where the swing arm is and the vertical post, you can see there are the up limit switch for the lift up motion. There's the magnet for it. When that magnet comes up and reaches that limit switch, it tells our computer it's okay for the lift to swing in. Now once the lift is swinging in, it will come over to this limit switch. This was what tells it that it's okay to stop. That magnet there, as it swings in, will come in contact with that switch. Same thing back here. Here's the lift open limit switch. As that swings out, that magnet comes in contact with that switch and tells it to stop. And then it's okay to go down. And fourth, you have the door closed limit switch. And I'll take you up to the door to show you where that magnet is. The magnet is there right beside this support arm. And that will tell the door when to stop. Now to adjust these switches, as I said before, for example, if you wanted to make this lift come out further, then you would loosen that nut and the nut on the back side and move this switch closer to the magnet. That will stop it sooner, or you could move it further away from the magnet to make it stop later.